welcome back to my channel if you're new thank you for clicking on this video um, I wanted to post this video for you guys because last week I posted my laundry mat laundry routine and this is what I do at home for my laundry routine so I thought it'd be kind of fun to have both videos so you guys can kind of get a feel for like what I do on a day-to-day -day basis at home for smaller loads so this guy works for about 15 10 pounds of laundry 10 to 15 pounds of laundry um, it is a small portable washer and spin dryer so that means I hang my clothes to dry I hang my husband and mine's clothes if I'm gonna let anything dry um, summer days it's not that big of a deal it's also a little bit cheaper if I'm going to the laundry mat and I take the stuff there to spin dry after I spin dry it and just dry it it takes about half the time as normal so that's what I typically do with this little um, washer and how I do things. I do it for a smaller load of stuff and when I need something quick or just kind of when I need to have laundry done fast, this is what I typically end up doing because it takes about half the time as going to the laundromat. So I hope you guys enjoy. This here is what I have for my portable washer. Um, it's just a single one. Um, I personally like this one a little bit better than the other one. I've had the other one and this is just my preference. Now since we are in a 28 foot toy hauler, what I typically do is I put it in the shower or bathroom area because one, you have this little thing here to fill up with water um, and it can fill up with a hose and it just fills up automatic or what I typically do is I fill it up with the shower um, this is just what I do this is I've had it other places in the trailer but I typically like it here so what I'm going to start by doing is I hit the on button and then I'm gonna set it to wash and then I'm gonna set the water level to extra low then I'm gonna take the faucet over here I turn it on this is the shower and I just go ahead and I put this guy in here and I turn it on um, and I'm gonna go ahead and let it fill up um, now it only takes 12 minutes to wash because I'm not using the water level to fill and it recognizes that after I do that this is just the, this is the one I have um, so it takes about 10 or 15 minutes to fill um, so that's what I'm gonna let it do while I let it fill I'm gonna go get some of my clothes to put in here also why it's filling something I like to go ahead and do is dump my laundry detergent in um, so it can bubble up as you can see it's starting to fill uh, I'm using right now this one it is my method now I really like this one because it can just drain directly into your gray water and there's no harsh chemicals or anything in this and so that's why I really like this one. Um, the other one that I really like is my laundry soap DIY that I will be doing for y'all but um, it will be coming up and I ran out of the bath soap. That's just my temporary one until I can get the other. Now this washer I also forgot to mention has this little thing here. It is a lint catcher um, and so you can just empty it out and it slides right there in the washer. And so that's really cool if you have a lot of lint and stuff. So like I said, this, this is a low um, pressure shower head that we upgraded to. So it will take a little bit for it to fill. Um, it doesn't take terribly long, um, but it would take a good couple of minutes to fill. And that's just how I like to do it. I wanted to show you guys, I'm going to put this amount in of clothes. This has got like seven or eight pairs of pajamas, um, some of my husband's clothes, some of his shorts, a couple of dresses of mine. So I can really fit a lot in here. The only thing that I can't do that well in here when, is when it comes to to doing jeans you can only do two pairs at a time two to three pairs but it still works good for us and for two people it would be great if you guys have something like a baby or something like that it's just so easy and convenient to have at home you know that's the one thing I miss about living in a trailer is the whole laundry situation 
and this thing has made it amazing for that reason because I can do something in a hurry or if you know I've got a hundred billion things going on you know I'm not able to go to the laundromat you know I am able to at least get some things done and so that's what's great about this you guys can see it's about halfway full um I like to get it up just a little bit further a little bit more um and that's what I consider full for me I just as you can see I just put the put the shower thing in and it is just water's coming out and into the washer um and so this is just what I like to do and as you can see also putting the soap in you're able to get some good bubbles and stuff in there now that's obviously why I put the soap in first one of the reasons so this guy is one of my favorite RV and just favorite ways to do my laundry at home without having the big expense of a wash machine and everything and so that's why I wanted to show you guys that today I was doing my hair and kind of forgot that I was filling this so it got a little bit full but it will be okay when you put your laundry in okay so as you can see this is what it looks like um, somehow it got turned off no biggie so I'm just gonna reset it and put my laundry in now if anything needs stain remover or stain stuff on it um, I've gone ahead and done that but it doesn't look like this load did so again you're just gonna it will be okay I did get overfilled a little bit but if you can see this is why we put it in the shower because it just goes ahead and drains out the excess see you put all of your stuff in there you're gonna kind of smudge it down so that's pretty good how that works so what I typically do um, this works good for everything except pretty much my husband's jeans um, even that works good you just have to do a couple shirts and one pair of pants or so so that's going to go ahead and you're gonna hit start so as you can see it just goes ahead and like that now, you would typically go ahead and just shut the washer and it does its thing. Now it takes 12 minutes and then I come back and I set it on drain. So we're going to check it in 12 minutes and see how it looks. Guys, so if you cannot see, I didn't turn on the light, sorry. Um, if you guys can see, my washer has turned off. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, turn it back on now it is up to your preference um some people will wash it twice to get the soap out i think it really depends on how much um soap Let's see if you can see how much soap is kind of in here it doesn't seem super sudsy um but i'm gonna go ahead and set it to drain so what happens when you set it to drain um it just goes ahead and drains all of the water out from here and then it's going to spin out all the excess water from the clothes and we'll look at it and see sometimes if it's sudsy I'll do a second rinse um, and other times I won't so it just really depends but let's go ahead and let that sit that takes about eight minutes to drain the water and spin out the clothes so we'll come back in eight minutes and see where we are now as you guys can see it is spinning out the clothes um, if you open the, the washer, it obviously will stop. So I'm not going to do that, but I'm just going to show you kind of quickly what it looks like. And see, we are down to six months already. So it takes approximately two minutes to drain the water and then six minutes to spin it out. Okay, guys, so as you can see, it is done. Um, the clothes are pretty dry, um, so I usually just hang them to dry from there now if you are one of these people um, that would like to rinse them again you can but I find one cycle to be plenty um, it does spin off most of the, the water and so they are pretty dry so that will be I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you haven't hit that red subscribe button I encourage you guys to do that I post videos like this and other types of videos once a week so I thought this would just be something kind of different that I do 
and I hope you guys really enjoyed it. This is what I typically do for my home laundry routine when I'm home. So I'd love to have you all a part of my YouTube family if you were, if you guys aren't already part of my YouTube family. I post every Fridays and I hope you guys enjoy this video. I post faith-based videos and modest clothing hauls, lifestyle, wife life, and home videos. So definitely hit that giant red subscribe button and come back and see what I post next week. Thanks for watching.